the robotics and electronics program at Edmonds Community College teaches students who can be any age to um, become technicians in um, the world of medicine, um, aerospace, uh, manufacturing for uh, businesses around this area. If somebody needs to have something fixed, they have to have a technician come out to do it. So there are always going to be positions open for people who are good at troubleshooting and fixing technology. We've spent years developing the actual hands-on training exercises. We've actually invented all of our own curriculum and tailored it to meet the needs uh, that we see in industry. We are the first in the state to offer an associate degree in robotics and electronics. Everything that we do is really around a one-hour lecture where we actually talk about concepts and principles for electronics or a microprocessor-based system. And then really we go in to do two hours of lab work. So what we do in the lecture is we go in and we say, okay, here's a voltage, here's a resistance, and then we're gonna get this much current. We know that that's gonna happen, and we can calculate that. But then we go into the lab and we say, okay, now let's go ahead and build this circuit with a known voltage, a known resistance, and let's measure that current and see if everything adds up and does what it's supposed to do. I'm learning something where I can go walk away across the room, and it's the real world example is right there. And he's teaching because it's out there in the world. It's not something somebody made up for a textbook. All the instructors are so friendly and everything. They really get to know you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And you can tell they love being here and they love what they do. So our program teaches electronics technicians. And one might think that that would be the only job they could get. But in fact, it's just a doorway into future jobs, including engineering and uh, management type jobs. I took three years of electronics in high school and then found out about the program at Edmonds and went on there and took two years of electronics at Edmonds. When I graduated from Edmonds, within a few months, I got a job at Huntron Inc. in Mill Creek and I've been working there ever since. I started out as an electronic technician in production and then went into engineering. I went back and got my four-year degree at City University continued on in engineering and then into software development and now I'm a senior engineer in charge of uh, software and hardware products. This is a very exciting time to be a part of the robotics industry. The field is really starting to take off. This is sort of like the computer industry was about 20 years ago. Our program uh, emphasizes robotics because that's where the technology is going today. I can't see anything in the um, modern world that does not use electronics or does not need some technical person to actually repair it. It's really all around you and there are technical people that are required to actually make these things work. There's a lot of abstract concepts that we're working with, but then once you put it into a practical basis like this does this does that, and then you go back and go, oh, it works like this, it really just brings everything together. If you want to get your hands in there and actually learn something, learn by doing, this is exactly what you want, what you want to do. It makes it easy. I'm not really going to school. I'm just kind of hanging out and you know, learning and having fun.